Hello, my name is Andrew Madelon, and this is my quarter one passion project. My passion project will be diving into the details and facts of evolution versus God's creation. Evolution versus God's creation has been a big debate throughout the years of human civilization. Evolution is the idea that humans have evolved over time from animals like monkeys and gorillas to humans. The idea of God's creation is that there were two humans put on earth named Adam and Eve, and that's how our inhabitants started. During this presentation, I will walk you through the details of each argument and tell you what I believe to be true. The idea that I will be introducing first is the idea of God's creation. People who believed in the idea of God's creation were known as creationists. Creationism ideas is based directly off the Bible's book of Genesis, which says that the creation of the world and all life was just created in a span of six days. But there are many different ideas that creationists have. Another one is that the earth and all life was created in 6,000 years. Others creationists believe in an older earth with speech species still created separately by God. Finally, believers in intelligent design hold that evolution might occur, but that a deity started or guides the process. It is very interesting to me that creationists don't all have the same ideas, making them seem unsure. Now I will be introducing evolution. The idea of evolution is that life on earth has, has evolved over millions of years and that's how humans and animals were created. Charles Darwin was one of the main scientists who did much, much research on this topic. He said that the science was clear that the earth is 4.5 billion years old and that all life evolved from single-celled organisms. In 1859, Charles Darwin wrote a book called On the Origin of Species. And in this book, he describes that organisms have changed over time as a result of changes in heritable or behavioral traits. The changes allowed organisms to better adapt to their environment so they can survive and have more offsprings. Evolution shows that all life on Earth is connected and that a di diversity of life came about because of modifications in populations that were driven by natural selection. Natural selection is described as survival of the fittest, where the fittest is standing for the ability of a species to survive and reproduce. Natural selection can change a species in a small way, like changing the color or size of a new generation. There's also something known as macroevolution, and that is defined as given enough time and changes, natural selection can create an entirely new species. It can turn dinosaurs into birds, amphibious mammals into whales, and ancestors of apes into humans. Darwin developed these ideas of evolution before scientists knew about DNA. Now scientists know that the physical and behavioral changes that make natural selection possible happen at the, at the genetic level. These changes are known as mutations, which can be caused by random errors in DNA replication or repair. This argument is a big problem. Many Christians who believe in God's creation have tried to take Darwin's theory out of school teachings. But that hasn't worked, and natural selection and Darwin's theories are still taught today in classrooms. I have put thought into which side I think to be true, and without a doubt, I would say that evolution is to be true. The main reason I think this is because you can't argue with facts. There is much research that has been done that says the Earth is 4.5 billion years old, and that all of the Earth has evolved from a single-celled organism. It just doesn't make sense for the Earth to be cre created all in six days. It doesn't seem possible. Also, that there, there are many creationists who don't even agree. Some say six days, 
some say six years, some say even 6,000 years. Overall, evolution is hard to argue against, and that's why I believe evolution to be true. You can't argue with scientists and cold hard facts. Thank you very much for listening to my passion project.